Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we're gonna start with Nick Walker and these couple of photos, insane, ridiculous, crazy looking freaking photos that he uploaded a day ago, and in these photos he looks so insane, so freaky, this is, this is, this is crazy man, look at this so cartoonish it's hard to believe this is even real like look at the the lag sweeps which was his weak point like last year he obviously improved it especially you can see it now when he's getting leaner and you can see for example how big his arms and shoulders are compared to his wrists right compared to his joints you can see the same thing like at the at the knees you can see how much his leg sweeps are popping and his leg sweeps were a weak point last year so he obviously improved those legs quite a bit and you can see like his his shoulders are popping like crazy his arms i don't even want to talk about his arms and then his chest also looks improved his abs are so crazy so prominent and also he's posing in such a way that makes his waist look pretty small but his waist is smaller than last year and everything else grew if you guys watched the interview with Dom Super Slice, the Knicks former coach the coach that prepped Nick for the entire offseason basically he said in that interview with RX Muscle that Nick's waist got one and a half inches smaller in that offseason and he gained a ton of muscle so if his waist is actually smaller and he gained I think like 15 pounds of sheer muscle man that's that's not gonna be worse than top three no way when you look at this physique and yeah i know it's in the gym the lighting is very good but still if you look at this physique do you see this physique like a i don't know top five physique in the world no no come on guys at least at the very least top three or even first i could see this guy win the mr olympia i know he's going to be shredded i know he's going to peak properly and pound for pound he's one of the if not the biggest guy on that stage so the only flaw might be the structure and his varicose veins but like everything else is super super crazy freaky so i wouldn't be too surprised if he actually fulfills what he said he's going to do and that's winning the mr olympia here is another shot that he posted, uh, the lighting here looks more realistic and it still looks amazing. This is not the first side tricep that he posted, he posted another one like a week or two ago, but this one looks so much better. Uh, again, I said this before, but I love the way he's posing now, the way he's hitting the side tricep, not Dorian Yates style, not anymore, it doesn't look that good, this looks much better with his feet close together and his conditioning is improving rapidly and there is still about four weeks three four weeks to go so he is going to be peeled he's going to be humongous and uh, with a smaller waist that you can see right here as well yeah yeah i think he, he learned how to control his stomach better uh, i'm pretty sure he was practicing vacuums in the off season i don't know but like whatever dumb super slice did with controlling the inflammation in the gut and stuff like that by eliminating certain foods from his diet from nick's diet and doing the dna test to see which foods he uh, he responds well to stuff like that whatever dom did worked his waist does look smaller and now with matt jensen at the pilot seat trying to land this boeing 747 i think we are going to see something that we haven't really seen before something so freaky but not just freaky like marcus rule type of freaky but also very good very complete more like 1993 dorian yates kind of freaky and in my opinion this physique won't be worse than top three at the mr olympia whatever you guys think let me know down below all right next we have a full physique update of blessing of oribu at four or five weeks out of mr olympia and uh, this was posted on mpc news online youtube channel so you can check it out over there if you want but this is basically it as you can see right here i mean blessing looks good he looks big of course his conditioning is not in quite yet but it will be in those four weeks or how many other weeks are left uh, i'm sure he's going to be very much conditioned uh, he's coached by george farah but in this video as you can see uh, the the biggest question was did he improve his legs because last time when we saw him that was kind of a weak point for him his legs were better than they were ever before but still like he has this kind of structure that still needs some filling out 
Take a look at his legs right here when he turns to the side. You can see that there is a gap. He's trying to hide uh, that lack of size with posing and he's doing a pretty good job. And his legs are looking pretty big now. But when he diets down completely, when he gets rid of all the fat from the glutes, the hamstrings and his lower back, he will lose some of that size, some of that fullness in the legs because that's his trouble area as far as adding tissue. So I don't know how much could he gain from that New York Pro until now, but whatever he gained, he's going to lose most of it when he dies down completely. And as far as the rest of his physique, did he really improve at all? I don't know, man. I think he's going to probably be very similar to New York Pro. It's just really hard. It's pretty much impossible to make some kind of significant progress in those couple of months. You know, so he doesn't have, he didn't have a lot of time between the New York and the Mr. Olympia now to really make some serious progress, uh, but he made a lot of progress in the past years. So maybe at this point he's not really trying to grow overall anymore. Maybe he's just trying to keep his waist size down and you know work the details. Maybe he can't really put too much muscle on because if he actually managed and if he gained like i don't know 20 pounds of muscle in those legs for example what would happen with his midsection check out his stomach right here when he's resting as you can see his obliques are popping out a little bit too much and uh, I, you can't see it from the front but you can kind of get it idea that his waist is a little uh, the standard of course it's normal in the off season but he's not off season, he's four weeks out. And I'm sure this can be fixed with a great abdominal control. But if he keeps pushing for the size in the next couple of years, that might be an issue that, that can occur. So maybe at this point, it's probably a good idea to just try and to refine this physique without trying to add too much tissue on it. He could use some of that muscle maturity, more details in the hamstrings, for example, and just overall details in the maturity. And you guys know that Blessing of Wadibu is not about size only. He, he cares about the aesthetics of his physique and he calls himself a piece of art. Anyways, this physique, as it looks right now, can this crack the top 10 at the Mr. Olympia? I don't see it. Not this year, maybe in a couple of years. He's a great bodybuilder, but this year, top 10 is just ridiculous. It's insane. It's one of the most competitive lineups of all time in bodybuilding. So it's going to be really hard for guys like Blessing to crack that top 10, unfortunately. But, you know, maybe in a couple of years, I can see all the potential. It's right there. All right, now let's check out this piece of art. Wesley Vissers just posted this photo of him doing this Arnold pose. I don't know what it's called. Twisted uh, front double bicep, whatever. Um, and he looks so amazing. He looks so classic. He pretty much looks like all we expected classic physique is going to be about. And now I'm really curious. What do you guys think? Where will he place at the Mr. Olympia this year. I mean, there are 50 guys competing and he won a pro show. He was second, I believe, or third. I think he was third at the Arnold Classic UK where he looked amazing. It was obvious that he made so much progress. But, you know, at the France, I think one week later, he showcased much better conditioning and he won that show beating one of the guys that beat him at the Iron Classic one week before. So as long as Wesley Vissers brings good conditioning, and when he was super conditioned at that France show, you could have seen how much progress he actually made. And it was a lot. Like, he really progressed. And now, at the Mr. Olympia, so again, if he brings that conditioning that he brought at France, or maybe even a little bit better conditioning... He can do really well at the Mr. Olympia, and he's a really big guy, he has big structure, big frame, and he fill it out nicely. He can really stand out at that Mr. Olympia and do really well, but again, he needs to be conditioned, like really shredded. It's very much necessary. This division, Classic Physique, it's, it, it is not all about golden era type of lines, very aesthetic physique and stuff like that, not necessarily... It is very much about detail and conditioning. And if you don't bring that by getting peeled, you know, losing all of your body fat percent and all the water, if you don't bring it on that day, you can't really do that well. But with Wesley's genetics, with his shape, with his structure, with what he looks like, I mean, take a look at his photo, man. He looks insane. If he brings conditioning, 
I think he can actually surprise us all. I think this guy is the dark horse of that show in Classic Physique. What do you guys think? Let's assume he is 100% on. He brings even better conditioning in France. He comes in peeled and he comes in full and he poses well. Everything He does everything well. Where can he place best case scenario? Do you guys see him in top six? Because I would love to see him in that top six, top five. I think he deserves to be there. I think it's all up to him how ready he comes, how well he prepares himself. And I honestly hope he's going to give us his 100%. And check out this classy guy, these aesthetics, these golden era type of lines with a lot more muscle. Samson Dauda right now looks insane, ridiculous. Now, I don't know about his conditioning in his hamstrings and glutes, but I know that he's suffering really bad. He talked about this on Fuad's podcast. He said that Milos is torturing him, trying to get him peeled. And th that's what it takes. If that's what it takes, then that's what he should do. I hope he's going to really give it his 100%. I feel like, I mean, he sounds like he's really motivated and that he's well aware that he's the dark horse in open bodybuilding. He could be the guy that, I don't know, lands in top three if everything goes well or top six. Imagine being top top five, top six in the Mr. Olympia. Guys, that's insane. That's a crazy success. And yeah, he was fourth at the Arnold Classic and he looked great, but he improved, I think, significantly from that point and now as he's, as he's getting leaner as you can see his waistline is getting smaller and his chest is starting to look even bigger and his arms are ridiculous and with his structure with his shape with his aesthetics he just looks phenomenal and i can't wait to see this guy finally on that stage it's going to be really interesting comparing him to the top guys so again, I hope he's going to bring also his best. I hope Milos knows what he's doing and he's going to get him peeled and get him full, really full, blasting full, as Milos likes to say. And I think that's going to be like an insane package. We'll see. He looks amazing right now. And whatever you guys think about Samson Dowd or whoever from this video, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.